Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another eating from my cookbook for a day. If you haven't seen the first edition of this series, a few days ago I posted a video about eating from my cookbook, the Blondie Baking Cookbook. And so what I do is I choose, whenever I want to eat something, I choose a recipe from my cookbook and then I make that and I do that for a whole day. And today I wanted to do it again, but this time we're gonna be doing it from the Eat the Rainbow cookbook. So this is my fully plant-based vegan cookbook. It has 100 low calorie, high protein, fully plant-based recipes in it. So in today's video, I'm going to be eating, all of the food that I'm gonna be eating is going to be coming from that cookbook. So all of the recipes you found in that cookbook, I'm gonna leave the link down below if you wanna check it out for yourself. So. Let's get started with breakfast. So for breakfast and the first recipe that we are making from the Eat the Rainbow cookbook is actually the peanut butter and jam overnight oats. And I filmed this recipe for TikTok and Instagram, so that's why it is up and down and not sideways. Um, but if you'd like to see the full recipe, go over to my TikTok or my Instagram and you'll be able to find it there. This was so good, so easy, and super delicious. Now it's time to marinate the tempeh for this marinated balsamic maple and garlic tempeh for my lunch later. So I took some tempeh and then I put it into a little meal prep container. And then you're gonna take some balsamic vinegar, some chopped garlic, some soy sauce, and a little bit of low sugar maple syrup. And then you're just gonna seal that and let it sit in the fridge. I did it for about two hours to let it sit, but the longer the better. So for lunch today, I'm actually going to be making three different recipes from the Eat the Rainbow cookbook. I'm going to be making the balsamic maple marinated tempeh, the lemon garlic roasted asparagus, and the lemon garlic broccoli. I actually already marinated my tempeh, so I'm ready just to put that in the oven. I'm going to get started on the asparagus and broccoli next. Okay, so we've got three recipes to make now for lunch. So first of all is going to be the asparagus. So I took some asparagus on a pan and sprinkled or drizzled some lemon juice and then some salt and pepper, a little bit of chopped garlic and some garlic salt. And then on that same pan, I added the tempeh that we marinated before. I just put it into strips and then drizzled the remaining marinade on top of that. And then I baked this at 400 degrees for about 30 minutes. While the tempeh and asparagus was baking, I started on the broccoli. So I chopped up a little head of broccoli and put it into a small pot and brought that to a boil. I don't, I didn't want it like super mushy. So I just boiled it, I think for like three to five minutes. And then in a pan, I took some water, some garlic, lemon juice, low sugar maple syrup, some soy sauce, apple cider vinegar, and then a little bit of cornstarch and just whisked that together to create almost like a sauce. And then once the broccoli was cooked to my liking, I just put it on a plate and then drizzled the sauce on top of that. And at this point, my asparagus and tempeh was done, so I took that out of the oven and literally just put it on the plate with my broccoli. It was so easy, and this meal, I would say, was done in about 30 minutes, and it was so like comforting, it was warm and delicious, so good. For an afternoon snack, I decided to make the peanut butter protein mug cake recipe from the cookbook, one of my favorites. Super easy to make. All you need to do is take some protein powder, powdered peanut butter, and baking powder, and then add some almond milk or whatever milk you like to that, slowly mixing it until it turns into like a batter consistency, and then just microwave it for 60 seconds, and out comes this beautiful cake protein packed snack or breakfast or dessert. So delicious. Just look at that consistency. One of my favorites. 
And then from there, we're jumping right into dinner and I decided to make the barbecue tofu bowls for dinner. So to start, I took my tofu and chopped it into chunks and put it in a Ziploc bag with some barbecue sauce. And this was the marinade. So I let this sit in the, in the fridge for about two hours. And then once they had marinated, I put this into a baking dish and kind of separated it so that it would cook evenly. And then I chopped up some potatoes and added those to the dish as well. And then I baked those at, I believe it was 450 degrees for about 20 minutes or until the potatoes were soft and the tofu was cooked. While that was cooking, I got all the other components to this dish uh, prepared. So I started off by cutting up my pineapple and then the other parts of this dish were also some zucchini. So I chopped up that. And then if you're supposed to have red onion, but I realized that I was out. So I added a sauerkraut instead, which was delicious. it off with some more barbecue sauce and here is it all together so delicious and last recipe of the day was the yogurt parfait so yogurt berries grapes a little bit of vegan chocolate and this was my dessert <laughs> 